All right, and welcome back to GSA 70 Star League. Uh, this race, uh, we will have Heisenberger versus Benji. Um, last race was a doozy. It was a lot of fun. Um, Punkation taking the lead. Uh, but this one, we've got uh, Heisenberger and Benji looking to be in the middle of a race. Um, not actually the case. Um, they will be resetting here in just a second. So this one um, will be live uh, commentary uh, pre-recorded um, as we do here at GSA. So looking at the standings, uh, we have uh, Heisenberger in ninth place, uh, Benji sitting in fourth. Uh, Heisenberger hasn't had the best races, uh, has had some pretty unfortunate uh, errors and losses, uh, but more than capable of you know beating Benji here. Uh, despite him being in fourth place here. Uh, Benji, one of the young guns here, similar to JJ, um, but Benji, a very experienced racer, um, can definitely pull us out over Heisen as well. So should be a nice race. And off the bat, we will see a bit of a cartridge difference. Benji running on Japanese, Heisenberger running on the American version. So Benji will be losing, I think, like two to three seconds in total um, slowly over the course of the race, even though um, he will have the head start here. So intro runs a couple seconds faster on Japanese. Uh, it gets used in every other category but 70. Um, just kind of works out that way in 70. Just lose time to text boxes. So Benji on his way, messed up the movement ever so slightly, got a dusty rollout, is not able to get the lack to skip. Already losing the head start that he was given. So Heisenberger officially in the lead now. But not the biggest deal in the world. Only losing like somewhere between like six and eight seconds there. All right, so having a little trouble grabbing the bomb, um, but is able to get it. Uh, is a medium bomb. Here we go. But primary uh, point is grabbing that star and getting the clip into the cage, uh, which both runners have done. So Benji doing that star a little bit faster. So gaining back some of that time. All right, so Electric will be joining me here in the commentator's booth uh, in just a bit. Um, was Says he was traveling. Uh, you know, probably not the smartest thing to do, but that is what he was doing. But here in Peach's slide, um, I'm going to guess a 12.8 and a 12.7, respectively, 12.8 for Heisen. And a 12.8 it is for Heisen. Do I see a 12-7? And it's a 12-6. Jeez, Benji, proving me wrong. I was hoping to get both of those right. Benji is just too good. And went off script. Because like I said earlier, commentary pre-recorded. Races live. So uh, that one is on Benji. But making our way into Womp's Fortress. The first official stage of the race. Ooh, and Heisenberger having a weird rollout, losing like all of his speed. Gonna be doing Owlis while Benji is doing Candleless, both grabbing their stars. So I believe Owlis does take a little bit more time than Candleless does, so Heisenberger still having a slight lead. But Benji has caught up because Heisenberger has had some unfortunate movements, um, just losing some speed here and there. Ooh, Benji not quite getting Owlis. I thought it looked good. All right, so Benji losing 
the time he had already saved. Looked like he was about to take the lead with a really fast uh, Owlis. But 100 coins from both racers here. This is where you can gain and lose a lot of time as well. Heisenberger getting that cycle. Benji looking pretty good. But as I like, as soon as I said that, he he missed the wall kick there. So is gonna have to do some half cycle movements. Oh, Heisenberger finishing up, just bonking right after that uh, that thwomp. Heisenberger finishing up his hundred coin. Benji trying to do the same. Here we go. So Benji actually went for the pro movement. Uh, didn't quite see that in the beginning. So did not quite lose as much time as I thought. I think still lost some time overall, though. Here we go. Right, so while blue was good for Heisen and is good for Benji, definitely a pretty easy star. Probably the easiest one here in Womps. I'd like to change that statement to definitely the easiest one in Wamps. So, taking care of the big Womp over on Heisenberger's screen and soon to be on Benji's. Hardest part about this star is standing in the correct spot for the star spawn and grabbing it immediately. Alright, Benji with the dive. Not saving any time, but definitely looking cool. Alright, and as we do uh, the Fortress stars here in Womps, I believe Electric has joined me here in the commentator's booth. Um, possibly not. Um, we'll get back to you on that one. But Hello, Eisen, uh, oh, there he is. Finally found my way through the maze that is the uh, GSA offices, and now I'm here with all yep. of them. Yeah, I, I heard, I heard the doors. So yeah, I heard the doors open and close, but yeah, I got gotcha. you. Race is going pretty good. Uh, first race uh, was really nice. Plunkation uh, was able to clutch it out with a 49. Uh, this one is kind of a back and forth. Um, some time gained and lost here and there, um, but no serious mistakes happening. Yeah, and going through the slide, 13-0 on Heisenberger, and Benji probably going to end up with like a 12 Here we go. Yeah, 12-6 again. Double 12-6 is from Benji. All right, now let's see flying on uh, Heisenberger's side here. This star, of course, you can lose a lot of time without really realizing exactly why. So uh, it's definitely vital to execute as well as you can. Yep, absolutely. Good arches, um, good angles. Essentially, like controlling Mario as less as possible. Um, just every time you like force Mario to make a movement, he kind of loses some speed. Yeah, and especially when you go to like ascend manually, like it's. Mm -hmm. The, the more you can actually make him like make a noise from starting to kind of ascend on his own from just not moving the stick like the the more speed you're able to maintain through a lot of the tight current corners and turning while you're grabbing the coins is really important so it's you take a lot of practice to actually know what mario's grab box is for those coins eisenberg now moving into dark world let's see if he's able to hit shig cycle or maybe go for something more but it looks like he's just going for standard old shig and not a problem that that's a pretty like honestly normal thing for races it makes the most sense to not go for the super high octane cycles a nice elevator movement on heisen's side benji approaching that same area 
Let's see how Heisenberger finishes off with the spiked island here. Oh, decided oh. to do uh, poverty movements. Didn't look like it turned out. Didn't get a good cheese block cycle. Yeah, so kind of like, just like a slightly later cycle, but not a huge deal. Benji taking a big fall, though. So both runners having like weird issues happening in Dark World. At least Benji didn't take a death, I don't think. Or maybe he did, and that was just him starting over, and I just only saw the elevator part. No, I think, I think he just fell down. Uh, yeah, I didn't see exactly what happened, but I don't think he took a death. Oh, actually probably could have made that cycle, but didn't really want to risk it here. All right, Heisen in the Bowser fight here. Pretty easy one throw fight here, but sometimes things like, oh, okay, so still managing to hit the very edge of the bomb there. It's easy when you're trying to go for a really optimal throw to either throw them a little too short or your angle's a little off, so the little distance you do throw them isn't quite. Yeah, trying to do fast Bowser throws can be a bit tricky. Oh, very fast from Benji. He was bouncing his way over there. Again, yeah, both kind of like hit an angled throw, but in opposite directions of the bomb. Heisen murdered to the right and Benji to the left. So now Heisen in uh, the BOB sky jump. Benji about to be joining him. Pretty decent lead that Heisen's forge here. Benji with a couple of unfortunate mistakes, especially like Dark Hole was a little slow, but of course there's plenty of time for that to reverse before we even get to Fire Seed. Heisen with a little bit early of a ground pound there, but not uh, too slow ultimately, just like maybe a second or so. Yeah, it looked like he was like a little too high. Uh, it didn't look like he was about to bonk on the box, but yeah, it was just a little off there. Uh, it definitely is possible to actually bonk on that box and like fall all the way back down. That's probably the worst case scenario. Yeah, that's, that's just really unlucky with your angle and your timing on your ground pound there and it's it's so unfortunate because like you slide on the actual island a little bit before you fall off so you get to deal with that pain of like oh i could have saved this if i just had a little less speed yeah exactly but uh, heisenberger in um, ccm going to show us he's already doing a ccm 18 route doing the slide skip here well, he messed up the moonwalk there. He was going for like the pro moonwalk where you uh, make Mario get up from the sliding animation by just falling off that little corner there. And the ground being right in front of you again picks you right back up, but it cancels your sliding animation, but you still have all your speed. And so if you do that, like, and you hold a fairly precise angle on the stick, you're able to like get to the door a little bit faster than doing the standard uh, slide against the opposite wall. Yep, some really cool tech. Um, Heisenberger unfortunately wasn't able to pull it out for us. I'm still unsure what Benji uh, will do. He did wall kicks will work first. Now both of them are on their penguin stars. Uh, really a terrible mother. I said this last race too, but just, you know, leaving the penguin at the top of the mountain. Mario having to save it. It's just pretty absurd. Yeah, I mean, and, and there's just another penguin that apparently is, is unowned by anyone. That's the real victim here. <laughs> That's who, true. Who's, who just left that other penguin? No, I honestly knew, think that, like, that the mom just was. forgot about her other kid. Oh, yeah, Heisen now missing the first red there, so he's just going to have to grab the safety red later on, which I don't think he normally... Okay, he already has missed too many coins, I think. He might just have zero safety coins, but I believe that was two that he missed on that slide, so I uh, have to grab some sort of backup when he's, like, going towards the cabin, I believe. Uh, I don't think he missed any on the, on the slide. I think he's fine. Going in with uh, 24 coins... Benji, okay, Benji for, had 22 for some reason points. On, on my end, it looked like he actually missed like one or two on uh, one of the like five five lines. Yeah, our, our screen is a a, a bit pixelated. Um, happen to use Discord, but uh, it is all good. So Benji uh, is not racing the penguin. Uh, he is doing the CCM 17 routes. Um, so Heisenberger will have an extra star over him as they are leaving. Okay, but they will be finishing now about the same time. So it's really up to if Heisenberger can get his first plus really nicely, then Benji will definitely still be a fair amount behind. But if Heisenberger maybe has some issues with plus, then Benji could definitely easily catch up an SSL for...
Yeah, Heisenberger still having to do wall kicks will work, I think. Because um, they both have 17. But Benji, kind of a false lead here. Oh, and then getting bonked by the boot instead of ground pounding. All right, nice wall kicks work for Heisen. Deciding just to uh, do the behind the bookcase star first, despite there being no bookcases uh, in that star. And then it's one of those stars that it's very quick, but also easy to mess up if you're not careful. Like that uh, kick into a double jump to get over that fence is actually a little bit tight in the timing. So if you're not paying a lot of attention to when Mario is starting to be able to move. Oh, Heisenberger actually uh, doing that like wall kick a little bit too low. And so running into the fence, there, losing a bit of time. Oh, and having issues with that other wall kick as well. Yeah, that's just. That, that, that's just what BBH does. You just like bonk and mess up movement everywhere. Yeah, the, the camera in inside the mansion by default is just so weird. And like, even if you try to do like the Mario Cam C down, that's kind of normal. It's still different from what you're used to in a lot of other stages. So it, it, it can just be weird, unfamiliar in, in its For sure. But Heisen, going back for the quick start here, BBH. So Benji is going to have to do one extra star here in SSL. So that is uh, why he has a false lead. And it's a hard star. He will be doing pillarless twice. While Heisen will be doing it once. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if Benji tries to pull out Tom on both of those attempts as well. And so if he lands both of those, that's just going to be outrageously fast. And Heisen will have a bit of an issue like trying to compete with that. Um, but should he like fail one of those or like just do standard pluses? I think Heisen is still going to be making up some pretty decent time over this like apparent leave uh, from the star difference. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we'll see what he tries to do. Uh, just standard pluses. Punky actually did pull out double pluses last race and, and got both. It's pretty insane. And and died on the Peach's slide, so <laughs> it was insane. All right, so nice first star from Ben. Died. And now Heisen's going to be headed into SSL as well for his single plus coming up here. NG does yeah. have a longer start to do inside the pyramid, so Heisen could definitely be ahead after that. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're very even. Benji pulling out Tama for his second one, and Heisenberger having to drop the bomb out. Benji with just an outrageously fast second plus, and that's pretty well going to seal his lead coming out of SSL as long as he performs well in C. Yeah, unfortunate for Heisenberger. It looked like when he went for his like jump, like throw on the bomb, he just threw it. Because it looked like he had the big bomb. I could have been mistaken. Or like he had, or he hadn't grabbed the bomb yet. I mean, so. Really weird for him to throw it away. Okay, now, just standard plus this time around. It seems to be going pretty well for him. But Benji just grabbing the top of the Pyramid Star here. Heisenberger's next star is a little bit... Oh, sorry, uh, in the Talon of the Big Bird Star. So Heisen has yet to grab this star as well, and it's it's a decently long one, so... Um, ultimately, Benji looks like he'll be coming out a little bit ahead, but uh, not as much as like if Heisenberger continued to have issues with Blast. And that was really, really nice and smart of Benji to just pull out standard plus for the first one. And once it worked, go ahead and use that confidence going into your actual Tama plus attempt. Yeah, absolutely. Heisen Amma's messing up that movement. Uh, was able to still get it, though. When you, when you mess up, like, running up that pillar, that fly guy can, can kind of move and uh, it makes it a lot harder to actually jump on the top of him. So Heisen... Making it work. Uh, very nice from him. Okay, so Heisen actually with a mild lead going into LLL, but 
Um, Benji could easily overtake him just with strats alone, um, or if Heisen makes any real mistake anywhere in the stage. Both starting out with a different approach. Benji with a more traditional just do reds first approach, and Heisen actually doing red hot log rolling first. A kind of like interesting take on flying tech. Um, a lot of what makes that star fast at a high level is going into the triple jump with as much speed as possible, usually with a speed kick of some kind after a rollout. Yeah, having as much speed as possible on the triple jump uh, saves a lot more time than you think. You have a lot of speed when you fly. All right, now Benji heading into the volcano, going with the pro lava boost here, and it works out for him. Nice pro ending as well with the oh double. Oh my lava. gosh. That's one of the faster forms of that star. Uh, there, there's certain other setups that will save like half a second or so, but like it, it just. That, that's pretty well as good as it gets with that star. And that's that's really, really a power play to pull that out. Yeah, that was that was insane. Oh, yeah, I think the, the beginning was where he could have, like, saved the time. But, yeah, the, the ending itself was, um, yeah, as fast as you're going to see. Yeah, like, there's some players like Draws. I, I know Draws has, like, a, a certain strat he'll do occasionally. That's more of a single star type thing that's just outrageously fast compared to what a lot of other people would that's mainly something you would see like pulled out in 16 star because with those types of strats you do for sure save time over doing the um elevator tour star that normally is faster with like much more normal strats okay. benji doing his own hot log rolling as heising gets a pretty decent triple bully fight yeah last bullet hung on by just a pixel it seemed so just pushed him right off just a quick little love tap all right i have not kept up with which stars either runner still needs to do benji done with this volcano i know uh, i think just has the bullies left heisen yeah, i think just having the volcano left yeah and so heisen going with a much more traditional long jump boost it's definitely like at least a couple seconds slower than what Benji did, but like the consistency definitely makes it worthwhile for. Yeah, and, and just just getting lava boost first try is is really all you can ask for in a race. Except Benji asked for a little bit more and was able to get it. All right, now I think with how far Benji is into this. Oh, Benji was trying to go for the ledge grab skip there and ended up taking an extra burn instead. This is going to make the triple bully kill a little bit. Yeah, bullies oh, he's not, not bullied. saints at all. Just getting bopped into a... I, oh, he's oh trying my to gosh. That. All right. He was as, almost as definitely going to be ahead of Heisenberger before that, and that's just going to kill that potential lead in the big bully. Yeah, oh, big bully man. Pushes him off. Yeah, the reason you want to kick the that small bully over to that other ledge is, is so you have a good angle for that big one there, so... Benji just had this weird awkward angle for the big bully and yeah, and, and then all that happened. Cause you can kill it immediately on spawn. So Heisenberger with a pretty huge advantage from that star. Let's see what he's trying to do in D in DDD roll. Swimming like flying is an art that just takes a lot of practice to master. And the chest stars is no exception there. Like the the route is very calculated, um, specifically to like make sure the camera is viewing the vortex as little as possible and taking advantage of that vortex drawing Mario towards the center of the stage uh, to gain speed whenever possible. This chest in particular on the very end, you actually like want to turn in a specific way so you can move as far away from the vortex as possible and thus keep it off camera during that star spawn animation. It actually saves like multiple seconds of yeah. lag frames. Yeah, and, and lessen the pull on it as well. But yeah, Heisenberger, like, pulling it out, like, almost perfectly there. Doing exactly what you were explaining. Yeah, we're seeing Benji with a really tight turn here. He's getting a little bit more pulled by the Vortex, but ultimately, like, he's getting reduced in the lag just a little bit longer of a swim time. Yeah, still a good start from Benji. Uh, both of them really pulling it out. Heisenberger looking to do backside sub now uh, that will see front side benji could pull it out but i, I doubt it 
Yeah, I'm I'm thinking we're gonna see Benji probably do a front setup, but we'll have to see when he gets further in the tunnel. It looks like rear so. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's he's yeah. gonna be sticking with playing it safe. I I guess he just got fairly tilted by that mistake in LOL and wants to play for consistency now. Yeah, and front subs one of those tricks that's like so much harder in difficulty it only saves like a second or two so really you know really hard to judge if you actually want to do it or not in a race if you're comfortable with it then it can definitely save time but after, yeah like after that mistake in um, lethal lava lands confidence could be a bit lower and it's all about confidence on that type of trick where you're having to delay a jump because you're jumping onto a slope but if you delay too long, you're losing too much of your speed. Like, it's very, very hard to perform just because of how tight the time is. Absolutely. Heisen looks to be on par uh, with the Lava Boost. All right, well, let's see this uh, pull grab here. This is a source of difficulty for a lot of players, myself included. Yes, probably one of the, the tightest cycles here um, in this whole entire race, but able to pull it off. And I think many runners would ultimately agree that, like, at just a standard level, Fire Sea with Reds is the hardest Bowser stage in 70 Star. Like, with, with some additional strats, bits can definitely be more technical, and, like, same with Darkwood for trying to go for Suki Cycle, but just to get standard Lava Boost is, is a hard thing, ultimately. Benji having to take some extra wall kicks, but he's just going to go for standard early Ellie's, giving Heisenberger a few more. Yeah. Yeah, like, getting Lava Boost is almost like getting, like, Tsukushima Cycle, except you, you can get punished for going for Tsukushima Cycle in Dark World, as to where, like, there's no benefit to not going for... You know, the lava boost here in Fire Sea. Oh, and Heisen actually missing this throw here, so it's gonna waste a lot of time with Bowser having to realign his QPUs for the stage and everything. That's not good at all for Heisen. He had such a good lead and he's, he's gonna lose a lot of it. Yeah, he's definitely still taking a pretty significant advantage going upstairs, but it's not anywhere near what it was before this fight. Yeah, still a really close race, still uh, anyone's game, but yeah, probably like 10 to 12 seconds was lost there. Hopefully you can just shake it off. Have a nice, clean, wet, dry world. Ultimately, I feel it's it's decently easy to shrug off like fire scene mistakes because like when you move on to upstairs, it does feel like the start of another kind of run. Like the stages kind of feel a bit different than having to deal with lobby and the grind of LOL, SSL over. And yeah, it's it's yeah, kind of like act two or I guess like act three if you know, basically kind of be act two. Yeah, it's, it's kind of the calm before the storm that is tippy as an overall area. There's definitely hard stuff like TTM especially, but um, like upstairs, like for a while, you can take it somewhat easy. Although Heisenberger here with that triple jump wall kick, definitely not quite taking it easy with the elevators. Yeah, very clean from Heisen there. All right, now Benji's, Benji's starting off with the double box kick and 100 coin here. Misses the box, unfortunately, but um, does have the other opportunity if he wants it. And, and having to run back twice for that coin. So this time he didn't break the, the second box closer to the camera, so... 0-2, oh, unfortunately, on this double box. Yeah, not the cleanest from Benji, uh, but not the worst thing in the world either. I didn't see what happened on Heisen's side, but it looked like some like kind of issue was going on with that star. Either like he had to abort the triple jump or maybe fell down. And I didn't see exactly what happened. Yeah, I didn't see what happened either. Um, if anything happened, probably just missed the triple jump. Not entirely sure, but on his hundred coin now. He's got one double box break here and not going to go for the second one. I mean, it, the second one doesn't really save time unless you happen to get good RNG on the coin. Oh, 
Sorry, oh, Benji. Yeah. yeah, a little bit closer to the, the I was, that doom. I was holding my breath for him. I thought he was going to fall down. And that backup can be kind of brutal. Like, it, it takes a little while to get back up from that, and, like, it, it's a little bit technical of a backup. Right now, Heisenberger finishing up with his own undercoin. A decent amount cleaner than Benji's here. Okay, the double jump kick from Benji here. All right, very clean uh, star from Benji. I always forget what the star is called. Let's call it the wall kick star. It's called Express Elevator Hurry Up. That's the name of it. Express Elevator. You, you can't forget to hurry up. I mean, that, that's a vital part of the star. You gotta hurry up. Yeah, which is exactly what Benji did there. Hurried right up to the point he didn't even take the Express Elevator. Benji with a nice top of the town star here as Heisen goes on in for shocking error lift. Yep, it is quite shocking how a lift takes you right up to the star. But there is a little bit of tech involved there. You actually want uh, Mario's rollout to like get him all the way to where uh, he's doing like the pushing against the wall animation. Because right when you let go of the stick, Mario will instantly take the warp. Whereas if you land like a little bit further away from the wall, Mario like does a little stutter step that actually wastes like a second and a half. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely little nuances and everything. Uh, secrets on THI. Heisenberger looking really good. All right, and nailing the final jump. And now Benji on his now. Let's see. People. Very clean for Benji as well. Just taking the ledge grab, losing a little bit of time, but we take those. And Heisen taking nice care of the piranha plants here as Benji's gonna re enter, probably for top of the island. All right, Heisenberger finishing up uh, in THI, uh, needing one more star. Um, actually, plugging the piranha plants first. So Benji up the mountain, deciding to just go around, didn't want to deal with the mountain clip. At a, there was a time where like every racer was doing that mountain clip, and it really doesn't save time. Like It's like a 0.3 seconds or 0.4 seconds. Um, Heisenberger showing it off for us, but Heisenberger doing it perfectly actually probably did save the time. Um, if you mess, yeah, like it's very easy to mess up, and if you do, like you just lose like seconds for like no reason. So definitely a swag strat. One advantage of it is like since you're not having to go around on that wooden plank, like the turning after the actual clip is a little easier once you make sure you're not in the water anymore. But actually getting up there is definitely harder and takes a lot of practice to get consistent. Benji crawling under the star. Okay, still grabbing like pretty quickly. Nice. Was, did he just like backflip ground pound like in the split second or what was I guess so yeah just a, double, a quick double tap of, a, of Z alright Heisberger scaling the tallest mountain in Mario 64 with ease it's like inside out TTC like it, it's it should be a tippy stage, but it's it's just located a little bit further away than the other. Benji with a nice first log wall kick here as Heisen goes in for a second, landing in the bottom pit of water again. You're, he's what he's trying to do there is like land in the bottom area, but have enough speed going forward that he's able to like clip out and then land in the top body of water. Because without all the downwards momentum, it'll spawn him right at the top of the upper body of water and save a little bit of time. Yeah, definitely extremely um, technical to pull off the uh, instant clip back up to the top there, like Benji just did. All 
Yeah, and it, it, if you get the instant power. clip like totally right, like you don't even have to swim, you just jump right out of the water since you spawn right at the top. So Heisen on reds now, going with that standard rollout strat into it. And a nice wall climb so far, nice triple. Okay, nicely executed on the main. Yeah, Heisen with a super clean TTM. And you know, with Breezeless and it's not quite high enough. Yeah, Benji messing up the freest strat in Super Mario 64. Pretty insane. As we saw from Punk A last race, Breezeless is free, so. I mean, the man doesn't lie. Nice speed kick strap from Benji. He's going all out on these reds here. With another dive roll out towards the end. Let's see if he does the side flip wall kick at the top. Yup. Nice reds from Benji. Saving a little bit of time over Heisen's just with better execution. Yeah, Benji not playing around on these reds. I think he knows he's behind. So he, just, he and knows like he's got to pull out some some pretty rough strats to uh, to catch up. Which Benji is perfectly capable of executing as well. Oh, Bison taking a bonk on that wall there, having to take this backup strat. Yeah, pretty quick backup. Yeah, worst part about that is just like getting stuck in the snow. Just terrible feeling out all, all in all. Alright now let's see. Able to make up time. Yeah, nicely done. As Heisenberger grabs the deep freeze star real quick that let's see if Benji decides to pull out that uh, double jump kick strat on the deep freeze star. That's another potential application. Yeah, pulled it out on a wet dry world. So maybe he can do it here as well. Nah, not gonna go for it. It's just a standard strat. Still fast, but um, not quite as just blazingly out there as the. Uh... Okay, Eisen with the really nice ground pound right into the star box there. That's a little bit hard to do. Uh, a lot of runners will like zoom the camera at right as they're clearing the top so that they're able to see a little bit better to potentially get the ground pound timed. But it's also a difficulty like actually learning how to set your angle to make sure you're near the box every time. It's very easy to get your jump, but you're nowhere near the box. So you have to still waste time ground pounding separately. Benji a little bit late with his ground, or a little early with his ground pound. He probably could have made it just a little bit later time. Yeah, definitely just like a blind jump. Yeah, just have to know where you're going. But yeah, this, Benji didn't seem like he had quite as much speed as Heisen, so he didn't quite make it to the box in time. Alright, taking care of the Ice Bully. Heisenberger already done so, so gonna be making his way to the basement uh, one last time. Right, Heisenberger grabbing the second MIPS. Um, the MIPS is the entire reason we save uh, Hazy Maze Cave and come back to the basement. Yeah, and even though the route only saves like a second, it's it's nice to be able to get to Fire Sea earlier uh, in PB attempts and races just to get it out of the way and like save HMC for right before Tippy since it's overall like a fairly easy stage. Just a couple of strats can cause a little bit of trouble sometimes, but it's, it's one that you can definitely get everything consistent. Yeah, definitely. And it MIPS is like a pretty free star as well. So doing that versus like an, an, a star in like an actual stage is, is pretty nice. Yeah, what you see most runners do instead if they do HMC early is uh, sm Snowman's Land's Reds. And that star, like, it, it, you can lose time just to shell movement being a little bit wonky sometimes. So, yeah. or God forbid like, you break your shell. Yeah, oh man, that, that starts brutal without the shell. 
Uh, you could also do THI Reds. It's a little bit faster, but if you mess up on THI Reds, you're losing a ton of time. Yeah. Oh, Benji, that not quite far enough and just diving straight into the ground. Yeah, massive fall damage there, taking a while for Mario to get back up. Heisen with a nice rolling rock. Alright, Benji going over there. Looked like Christmas Miracle. Heisen, I think still has Christmas Miracle as well. Which he does. But going for emergency exit first, saving Christmas Miracle for last. Benji not hitting the switch and having to do the backup movement. Unfortunately, the backup movement is, is very fast. Uh, you don't really lose a ton of time having to do it. All right, so Heisenberger's turn to uh, ask Santa what he wants for Christmas. Uh, Heisenberger probably asking for a fast star. And he does get it, not asking for a pony, which is, you know, a little bit uh, unexpected, but I mean, it Yeah, Benji asking for his pony was obviously the mistake there, I believe. Yeah, he should have, he should have upsold. You, you always ask for something bigger than what you want, so that giving you what you want is actually like, seen as an understatement like you ask for a ferrari you get a pony easy yeah stonks, exactly dude. santa stonks all right heisenberger heading up to tippy benji finishing off his final star before he heads up there as well all right, let, let's see what Rainbow Ride looks like for Heisenberger. Going to be starting, of course, with lack of two bounds. And depending on what setup you do, it, it can be a pretty grueling start. Again. And then you're going to be hot on his heels. You know, there, there's definitely time for Benji to catch up if, T, if Tippy just doesn't go quite the way Heisen. Heisen going with a pretty standard uh, lack of two bounds setup and does get the actual bounce part. And he's on the pole now, just has to pull off the end. Yeah, definitely has that hog part out of the way, but ending is not free either. What? She shows it right there and falls all the way oh, down. Oh, man. Oh, my. That feels so bad, messing up the, the ending after getting the bounce. Yeah, like, once you're all the way on those blue platforms, like, it just... You feel like you should be home free, but falling down after that is just so, so painful. Benji, meanwhile, just dealing with tricky triangles real quick. I, I, I did. didn't see if you did a lack of two bounce attempt, but still pretty clean triangle. Yeah, maybe it had like a weird setup. Yeah, I didn't see him attempt it either. Maybe he just wants to kind of get in the mindset of doing the stage before he actually like heads on in the lack of two bounce. Let's see. I think this will be bounce here. Yep. Looking a little bit under. So great. Yeah, it, he side flipped like really far away, like further than you want to. And yeah, it didn't uh, quite make the wall kick. Okay, now Heisen, attempt number two on the ending here. Okay, so he's got his double jump kick and he's got the star in his hands now. Nice. All right. Yeah, second time is the charm for Heisenberger there. Um, po quite possibly could be the same case for Benji. They have the same star counts, but Heisen has the two longest stars out of the way already. Yeah, Benji, meanwhile, like uh, his other star was um, uh, Tricky Triangle, so that only takes like a, 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 about eight or seven seconds slower than Lakitu Bounce. So um, he, he's definitely like a little more behind than it looks, but he has caught up some time just due to not making that huge error on Lakitu Bounce. Let's see how his ending looks here, though. All right, good for Benji. So now just swinging in the breeze left. Benji might end up trying to go for the top side movement on this, which would just be what? Yeah, it's such a crazy strat that some of the runners have picked up. Okay, now he's okay, not going he's for not just the standard it. underside strat. 
Yeah, th I mean, this race is like super close. I mean, one mistake from Heisen and like he's he's right back on him. Possibly even the lead. All right, now Heisen heading on in probably to TTC 100. Let's see what happens. These guys, first coins here going up on the reds. No safety red here. He's landing this triple jump wall kick here. No ledge grab there. Nice. Let's see how the blue switch press. Go. Nicely done. Holding a lot of speed from that wall kick. So now he's just got to deal with this like nub wall here. Edgy meanwhile starting out and does get his triple jump. Oh, not quite the triple jump wall kick. Having to do the backup triple here. Failing the ledge grab has to go again here. This can be a little finicky like this. Alright, Eisberger looking really good. Is in the danger zone though. Can't make any mistakes or be pretty detrimental time loss. Alright, and he is up in the final area of the stage now, has all hundred of his coins, so he's in a pretty good Yep, had a very clean ending, avoiding all of his walls and the like. So Benji going for the fast movement. Oh doesn't doesn't die. Yeah, lucky that he fell like right where that platform was at the end. And just going for like much more conservative little jumps on the triangles. And now he's sitting on his own 80 coins. No invisible, but oh. has a lot of speed and falls right off the... Benji is playing with fire here at the end of the 100 coin. I mean, he's losing a fair bit of time. Now, Heisen actually missing a time moving triple here. That's going to lose him at least 10 seconds. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I don't think missing that was quite as bad as what Benji was doing, but yeah, it, it was still trying try to even up the Benji the taking a big fall after getting a hundred coins, going to take him a little bit to get back how, up. Again. How did that happen? I wasn't even watching. He, he was just going for like really, really tight movement towards the triple, I guess. Now trying to do a wall kick off the thwomp, almost working, but mistimed the other wall kick there. And oh then nearly God. taking a dive off the stage again. Just cannot seem to get this last stomp on the thwomp star. Oh All the advice God. stomp on the thwomp. Just stomp on the thwomp. And it, just, just, he, he, just it. Stop. there he is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Benji losing time at the end of 100 coin. Heisenberger trying to give it back. Benji doesn't want it and does all of that. Oh my gosh. Insanity. And meanwhile, Heisenberger just clearing out the stage for his time moving start. Yeah, that's that's basically the exact reason why a lot of runners like don't do under coin first. Like, I don't want to contribute that to like be that happened because it was first. Heisen trying to do Wait. a fancy dive into the star there and took a death. Oh it should be like 8.7, 8.8 seconds of just a quick triple, a wall kick, and a couple long jumps. And yeah, you're done. I, I think like 7.8 is like a, a reasonable time. Like once you're in the stage. Oh, Golly. yeah, yeah. And so Benji making up a little time, but still sitting like one star less than. This is this is an insane TikTok clock. <laughs> Either runner like could have easily just lost the race entirely here, but they're both just passing the the torch. All right, now Heisen finishing up time jumps on moving bars real quick, and falls falls out of the cage. But okay, he's he's in there now. Okay. Yeah, fairly like common mistake there. Like that little lip. And that cage is like really obnoxious. They're like they purposely make it a little hard to get into. Like, and, and the fact that, like you said, like the edge of the opening of the cage is slightly above the last moving platform. Like, it, it, it makes everything just hard for no reason. Benji and Benji taking a big fall there. Gonna be able to back this up with a triple. Yeah, he's, he's not too far away. Oh no. Okay, Benji. a bonk there though. What is happening? 
This is very unlike Benji. You can normally like clutch out some runs. I honestly feel like it might be a slight like mental thing just from like some of the other mistakes that he made in the run. Especially like he might still be kind of kicking himself from the LOL mistake just because of how strange it was. Benji having to wait a while for the time to stop yet again, but does finally get to his last star here, Red. Yeah, and despite all the junk, like, they're still not far behind. Like, a, a solid mistake on um, bits here, I mean, that's that's about the lead difference. All right, so now Heisen starting out bits. Let's see what he's got here. Going to be probably going for that, like, angled triple here at the top. Yep. And he's good to go. And just some elevator movement going on up into the staircase. Yeah, super fast cycle for Heisen. All right, now I think he's probably going to be just doing moving left side. I don't see him doing right side or standing left. Okay, doing standing like a, a standing left, but really fast. He's pretty well up there. He's almost in the fight as Benji starts <gasps> falling off the stage, oh, though. No. Benji now in the driver's seat. The rapid change. Heisenberg just getting ejected out the cockpit. Benji going to be going really, really conservative, like going really deep into the platform for uh, his triple. Yeah, it and looks like he was just trying to kick and he like just dove all the way over. Yeah, I, I think like maybe the wind came at him uh, a little bit, or, or like the wind stopped coming a little earlier than expected. So Benji now on just standard woodblock movement. He must know he's ahead and wants to clutch this out beyond. Yeah, it's a, yeah, probably saw that mistake and yeah, just, he knows if, as long as he doesn't make one, he is good to go. But if Heisen can get this jump here, yeah, they're, they're like a Bowser throw apart, like maybe two, like there might, Benji yeah. might have one to spare. I think he does. I, I, I yeah, I, I think it's one throw, if anything. So let, let's see what Benji's able to pull out here. Heisen nearly in the pipe. Here's where he died last time. Looks like he's good this time though. Yeah, that's, that was such a weird death. He was just way too far to the right. Benji first throw down. Let's see his second one. It's a good second throw. Just needs one more to clutch this out. Heisenberger starting his own spin. And Benji is going to take this game that's with insanity. a clutch bit. Nice. I, I I just want to say that that's the second time Benji has pulled a race, like, basically out of his butt from a racer falling at that exact spot. So first time was, like, happened to cheese at the very end of last season. And then it literally happened the exact same way this this time. That, that's just it's so much <laughs> for Heisen. One tiny slip up just cost him that entire bits attempt. That's that was just so insane. brutal. He, he definitely had like a, a race lead, but as we say a lot of the time, like it's never over till it's over. And this race is just super good evidence of that. He was almost in the final fight and just barely just a, a slight slip up of momentum. And just the, the, the tides turn just incredible clutch performance from Benji there, honestly, especially if he knew what was going on. The nerves that must have just shot up was must have been just ridiculous. Yeah, definitely. I've, I mean, taking the win, which is worth more than the points, but Heisenberg have taken almost like all 30 points, like at least like 29. Yeah, so in the event of a tiebreaker, he's definitely going to be in a decent he's, position. Yeah, like that's, that's, I think that's he was... Points you can pretty much get. Yeah, I think he was sitting up... ...get into like the final bracket tournament. So like those points could very well come in handy. He, like the win would have obviously been better, but like at least he got like all the points. Yeah, for sure. Well, we will be right back after a short intermission. We're gonna we're gonna have, I believe it's Drogi versus Guy and I next up. So stay tuned for that, folks. But uh, for now, I'm Electric, joined by Markinator in the booth. It's been a pleasure coming this race with you, and what a finish, man! Yeah, absolutely. It was a really fun race, and yeah, gave us a little twist. So, yeah, a lot of fun. Exclamation mark pace. Exclamation mark Onyx. Type it out in chat. See what happens, and we will catch you on the next one. Yep. Peace out, folks, and we'll see you in just a few minutes.
they are synced. They are synced now. <laughs> Do whatever. In the lead again. Wow. Oh, sure from cheese. Okay, doing it. Moving. Oh no, we 